गाइज डू सब्सक्राइब द गेट हंट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑन लेटेस्ट जॉब अपडेट गेट टॉक्स एंड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन गेट एंड आई ई एस हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिक्सटीन लेक्चर ऑफ आई सी टी फॉर जी एस फॉर आई ई एस तो गाइज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग दैट इज सीरियल कंप्यूटिंग पैरल कंप्यूटिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंप्यूटिंग सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फोर टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग दैट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग सो वेट दिस क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज अ बज वर्ड इन द करेंट आई टी इंडस्ट्री एंड देर आर सो मैनी पीपल हु आर वेरी ईगर टू नो अबाउट दिस क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग बिकॉज दिस इज द करेंट टेक्नोलॉजी विच वी आर यूजिंग नाउ अ डेज इन आई टी सेक्टर so what do you mean by this cloud computing and how we are using it these things we are going to know today so before going to know what is this cloud computing i want to give you an analogy to show what is this cloud computing okay so for example you are here at the source location okay so this is the source location and this is your destination location and you want to travel from your source location to the destination location so to travel this distance let us assume that you are boarding into a bus okay so this is a bus in which you are boarding and you are getting the ticket and then holding back on your seat and then the bus is moving from here to here and along with you there are so many passengers who are having different locations as a destination and they are also traveling along with you via the same bus so in this bus there are so many people along with you who are traveling from here to some other destination so whenever your stop comes you will get down from the bus at that location so what you have done till now is you are taking a bus service to travel from here to there and by paying some minimum cost so here this is one simple analogy which can clearly define what do you mean by cloud computing so here in this analogy your bus is acting as a cloud computing and it is carrying the data and information for different people from one location to another location and is allowing to use that data or information as service by paying some minimum cost so this is what exactly the cloud computing means so cloud computing is carrying the data or information for different people from one location to another location and is allowing to use that data or information as service by paying some minimum cost so guys this was an analogy which was showing that what does this cloud computing exactly means so guys now we will see some basic definition which will further explain us the meaning of what does this cloud computing means so the first definition is that it is a set of different types of softwares and hardwares that works collectively to deliver many aspects of computing to the end user as a service via internet so guys what does this software and hardware means here so we know that in cloud computing this computing is done with the help of computer and what does the what does this computer comprises of it comprises of some softwares and some hardware so hardware represents the memory and cpu and the software represents the operating system so this cloud computing is a set of different types of software and hardware that works collectively to deliver many aspects of computing so guys this aspects of computing means whatever results are produced after the execution of your instruction so it is a set of different types of softwares and hardwares which are present in a computer that works collectively to deliver many aspects of computing that is to deliver the results needed by the end user that is you as a service via internet so guys the second definition says that this cloud computing is a technique to deliver the computer power as a service over internet rather than physically having the computer resources at the user location so what do you mean by this computer power it means the cpu and the memory so this cloud computing is providing you cpu and memory as a service over internet to store your data rather than physically having a cpu and memory at your home so which means for example whatever photo you have uploaded in your fb account it is not saved in your physical memory that is whatever hard disk you are having in your computer in that the photo is not saved so it is stored in the cloud so is this memory provided by that cloud the physical memory like your hard disk no 
it is a virtual memory it is a memory which is located virtually as let us consider you uploaded a video on facebook now you are watching it so for watching that video you need a cpu to play so this cpu represents the computer power so is this cpu which is playing your video on facebook your cpu no it is provided by the facebook to you so it is provided virtually as a service via internet guys moving on the third definition says that this cloud computing is the use of hardware and software to deliver a service over the internet so basically this third definition is the summary of first two definitions so guys with the cloud computing users can access their files and applications from any location and by using any device which can access internet so wherever in the world you are present and if your device is able to access the internet then you can access your files and applications using this cloud computing guys moving on now let's discuss various characteristics of this cloud computing so the first characteristic is that it provides on demand self service so what does this on demand self service means it means that whatever service user requires that can be provided by the compute cloud computing technology in an on demand manner that is now the user has no foundation to carry a whole bunch of softwares and applications with him whenever he needs a software or application or a file he can just use it from the memory and cpu provided by the cloud computing guys moving on the second characteristic of this cloud computing is resource pooling which means that whatever resources are required to prepare your files like memory cpu etc all those will be pooled or grouped together in a virtual manner in the cloud computing and are readily available whenever you needs them guys moving on third characteristic of this cloud computing is measured performance so to execute your applications how much cpu power you have consumed is measured by this cloud computing moreover how much storage provided to you through cloud computing is filled with your applications that also will be measured by this cloud computing guys moving on the fourth characteristic of this cloud computing is its rapid elasticity so guys this rapid elasticity means that whatever resources that are allocated to you in order to execute your files at what pace they have been allocated to you that is how much fast they have been allocated to you so in which manner they have been allocated to you in the same manner they will be deallocated from you after your application is executed so this is the meaning of rapid elasticity guys moving on the fifth characteristic of this cloud computing is that it provides broad network access so this broad network access means that from anywhere using any device you can access your files available in cloud computing guys now let's talk about various types of clouds so the first type of cloud is public cloud so in this type of cloud the resources are owned governed and operated by a government and academic institute or a business organization for example if we consider an academic engineering college having some website then that website can be accessed from any part of the world that is information like where it is located and number of, of admissions per branch etc can be easily known this is due to the reason that the information is available as a public cloud guys moving on the second type of cloud is private cloud so here the computing resources are deployed for only one person so for example i can save my important certificates and documents in the form of a cloud on the internet and whenever i need them i can download them from my gmail account so this data and information uploaded by me is available only to me so this form of cloud is known as private cloud guys moving on the third type of cloud is the community cloud so here computer resources are provided for a community or organization so for example if you again consider an academic engineering college having some website then in that website there will be some portals like students portal faculty portal and these portals can be accessed by only either students or faculties which means that resources available with respect to that portal can be accessed only by a community or an organization 
guys moving on the fourth type of cloud is hybrid cloud so it is the combination of best features of both public cloud and private cloud so guys now let's talk about the various types of services provided by cloud computing so there are basically three types of services that are provided by cloud computing first one is saas second one is pass third one is iaas so it is also referred as sip model of cloud computing where this s represents saas i represents iaas and p represents paas so we will talk about all these types of services provided by cloud computing in detail so first service that is provided by cloud computing in saas so guys this saas stands for software as a service so guys when you are a simple client and you want to use a software but you have nothing in your hands that is you don't have the required software available to you physically on your system then you are using this saas so for example let us consider that you wants to play a game and that game is not available to you physically on your system so now you are running internet and you are playing that game online so the memory power and the cpu power required to play that game is provided to you through the website through which you are playing that game so this is an example of saas guys another example of using this saas can be that to develop a c program there is no need to have a c program software on your pc physically rather than you can develop it using a website called codeshape.com so this is again an example of using this saas guys moving on the next service provided by this cloud computing is pass guys this pass stands for platform as a service so when you have a software developed by you and you wants to deploy it and run on a publicly available platform then you use this pass so previously you are not having the software but you are getting that software from the cloud that is called software as a service so guys now using that software you have developed your own file and after developing that file you want some platform to run it that is to execute it so that is also provided by the cloud computing so that is what the meaning of pass platform as a service so for example codechef.com is providing a software to develop a c program after developing it if you want to run it so for execution of that c file you need some platform and that platform is again provided by this codechef.com which means that it is providing a platform as a service guys moving on the next type of service that is provided by this cloud computing is infrastructure as a service so when you have a software and the platform ready but you want to have some hardware that is memory and cpu etc to run that then you use this ias that is infrastructure as a service guys now let's talk about various advantages of this cloud computing so the first advantage of this cloud computing is that it offers lower cost this is because if you are buying a cpu and memory physically it will be more costlier than the cost you need to spend in using cpu and memory offered by cloud computing moreover the second advantage of this cloud computing is easy utilization so whatever the resources you want that resources can be easily utilized by you by using this cloud computing the third advantage of this cloud computing is reliability so guys so many resources are available through this cloud computing to you and you can use these resources from anywhere using any devices so that is what this reliability means guys moving on the fourth advantage of this cloud computing is simplified maintenance so guys with the invention of cloud computing now there is no need to maintain the software and hardware physically they are available to you through a service provider virtually via internet guys moving on the fifth advantage of this cloud computing is that it provide a better quality of service guys the disadvantage associated with this cloud computing is that it raises security issues so because of rising incidents of hacking and virus plantation this cloud computing 
is an insecure medium to store your important data and information because there is always a chance of your data being theft by some hackers so all right guys that's it about this cloud computing concept in the next lecture we will talk about some latest trending technologies as part of ICT guys do hit the like button and do subscribe the gate hunt and press the bell icon to receive notifications on latest jobs updates gate talks and video lectures on gate and IES